Hello, I'm Andy and I've drawn an interesting palm for you. I want to introduce to you the lines. The line which I've marked as number one is your lifeline. And then I've marked the line which I've put in red as number two. And that is what I'm going to talk to you about. That's, that is called the Simeon line. It's often found on, or it's always found on the hands of apes. But that doesn't mean that you have the mentality of an ape or the heart of an ape. It just means that you will be very territorial, guarding what you have and possess with everything you have. And you will be extremely aggressive in everything that you do. And you will be a person who is driven towards financial success. Now, I've also put an arrow to the area which I've marked number three. Now, that's very, very important. Now, because the separation of the line number one and the number two has happened, so the line number two has now appeared high up in the palm, very close to your, the bottom of your fingers. Now, that's normally where the heart line is seen. And the heart line has got to do with emotions and family areas and your health areas as well. But now, this has become the major line where your heart line is. And underneath, there should be a line which is normally called the head line, but that has disappeared. So your head line and your heart line has merged and it is preferring to be in a place where the heart line is. That means that you are emotionally driven and over emotionally driven, over sensitive and you will be a person who will act in terms of brilliance sometimes, uh, in terms of imagination and using your talents through imagination. But you will tend to lack the area of common sense and you will tend not to use logic. You will be driven by a, a mentality which is ruled by imagination. And of course your imagination can be very good because it's a line that goes right across your palm making it the most important line of your palm and therefore financially you can gain very well. You'll be a person driven by money, materialistic stuff and be a person often known as sometimes very greedy or a person who is over possessive of what you have even in terms of your partner and a person who is oversensitive to anything, whether it's criticism or whatever. And so it builds up a very strong ego as well. Now, because of this mark where I've marked number three, it shows that you will be a totally independent person. You are not going to be under anybody's thumb. You are not going to allow anybody to control you in any area of your life. So you can sometimes be a loose cannon you can be a person who may walk out of a marriage and others will be shocked. Or you can be a person who wants to take charge as well, increasingly more and more and become obsessed with whatever you want. I'm not saying that the line number two, which is called a semen line, is bad. But you have to show kindness. You have to show that there is also another side of you which is very caring. Otherwise, people will be left with an opinion of you that says all you want is money and all you want is to take charge and to take control and to be in business and you have no time showing love or showing care or making others feel secure. So you have to work very hard if you have this line. But celebrate because in the modern day of life today where money has become very important, this line assures you to become very rich and uh, a person who will have property and a person who will dri be driven day and night towards wanting to be a big time businessman or a businesswoman. So in that way it's good, but try to show kindness and try it because of this market number three shows your level of independence will be very high. And you need independence where marriage is concerned, where business partnerships are concerned, where sports partnership are concerned. So you will be a person who will tend to act on his own or her own all the time. And that's also not very good. But it's an interesting uh, line to have. I don't see it very often so high up on the palm. But I've met people with such lines and they do tell me that they are hurt very easily, number one. And number two, they can get very obsessive whatever it is that they are after. So think about all these things and um, tell yourself you're a very different person 
and you are a person who has one goal in life and that is success in every form whatsoever. Thank you. Goodbye.